hey there guys, this is Gilden, this is Rex over here, and welcome back to another tutorial, and today what we're going to be doing is going over some shooting yet again, but this time we're going to be doing a little bit differently. Uh, we're actually going to be shooting, or doing shooting by the mouse, basically the direction that the mouse is in, that's where gun slash arm is going to go, and uh, pretty much what we're going to be able to do is, well, let me go ahead and show you guys. Let's go ahead and run this example here. So, we have this cute little little character kind of guy here, and uh, we have a little arm slash gun attached to him, and we can move that around, and depending on what side our mouse is on, whether it's on the left or the right, uh, we'll also change the direction of our character, and we can also move at the same time and do all this stuff and kind of multitask, but along with this, we can also shoot at the same time, we can do it all at once, and oh my gosh, so much going on right now, my goodness, alright, so... That's what we're going to be going over today, guys, and uh, let's go and exit out of this, and this is really simple to do as well, I mean, as you guys can see, we only have like three of uh, sprites and three of objects, and uh, it is very efficient as well, so... Um, before we begin, I just want to let you guys know, you can go ahead and download this example on my website for free. Um, the link will be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and do that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, no credits needed or whatever, you just go ahead and learn from it because that's what it's there for. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and jumpity jump right into this thing. Starting with the uh, SPR underscore player sprite. Um, so pretty much all I have going on here is uh, image zero and uh, they're basically our initial sprite. And this is a 16 by 32 sprite and um, it's just facing one direction. So... I mean, there's not really a whole bunch to do here, but I guess one thing to mention is if you want to have, like, various movements and stuff, like, say you have a running animation, you could have various frames here and stuff in this one sprite, um, but what you'd need to do is just go inside of here and configure that in your movements, and uh, we'll get into that in just a bit here, but um, a really important thing to do as well is you'll notice my origin is all the way over here on my player, and uh, specifically 9 by 17 and the reason for that is we need to set, uh, once you've created your character, you need to set your origin to where the arm, where basically you want his arm slash gun to go. Um, so for my, or for my, yeah, for my character, um, I've set it right here. Of course you can move it all around though, depending on the size of your character and whatnot, but I'm going to set it back to 9 by 17 but I just want to let you guys know, um, that is very important, but you don't need to have it in a specific uh, spot like mine. Alright, now on to our SPR underscore player underscore arm sprite. Uh, this is just a simple 16 by 18 sprite, and uh, all it is is it's just a... Uh, image of my character's arm holding a little gun and uh, you can modify this to whatever you'd like um, so I mean the dimensions can change whatever uh, the only thing you need to be aware of is the origin yet again I know the origin um, <laughs> wherever you set this origin uh, will be where this arm is going to connect to the player wherever the player's origin is so um, let's go ahead and set that back to one by three Whoop, there we go. So since it's all the way over here, um, it's going to connect at this little point right here onto my player's origin. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, and now the SPR underscore bullet, uh, this is just a simple 4x4 four four block, uh, red block, I guess I, I'll go ahead and add. Um, you can, of course, do whatever you want to with these uh, with these bullets here, it doesn't matter. And the origin doesn't need to be set, thank goodness, so no need to worry about that. Now let's head into their objects here, starting with OBJ underscore player. Um, now one thing you do want to do is obviously set the player sprite here, um, but in this step event, um, you'll notice there's a code block, and he stop saying um all the time. Uh, <laughs> But basically, what we have is image underscore x scale equals obj underscore player underscore arm dot image s scale, or x scale, excuse me. And this is setting the player's arm position on your player and basically getting everything all set up to work with your player and kind of correspond with each other. And uh, as for the left and right uh, events here, the only thing is the movement. Um, and if you already have your own movement, you can of course set this up however you like, whether you have a, maybe a key press left or just a regular left. Uh, just put all that in here, you can just get rid of the uh, X, uh, bleh, what am I trying to say, X minus equals 3. Sorry about my speech guys, I just, I'm tired or something. But uh, <laughs> that's pretty much what I have going on here, it's just really simple movement because this is a tutorial and I didn't want to get too advanced. Uh, same thing in here, but it's just uh, plus equals 3, um, so it's going to the right. And uh, that's all we want to do for our player. Pretty simple, right? Now we're going to go ahead and go into our obj underscore player underscore arm object. And in here, uh, in the step event, we have two code blocks. And these are pretty much just setting up the, um, the whole movement for the arm itself and the directional stuff like that. So you don't really want to go in here and mess with anything per se. Uh, you just want to leave it how it is. And I do really want to, uh, really quick want to say, uh, I did get some of this code offline um, because I was having a little problem with the direction. I don't know if I was just typing it out wrong or whatever, but as soon as I just pasted what I was trying to get down, it worked. So, 
I mean, there's obviously some little comments here I left in, so you guys can go and check out those uh, if you like to. But nonetheless, that's all that's going on there, so nothing to mess with. Uh, what you want to do next is go add event and mouse and global mouse and global left button, or excuse me, left pressed. <laughs> um, and what this is doing is the difference between global and left press and regular left press if you guys are a little unfamiliar is global is like wherever you press uh, the left uh, mouse button in the room as opposed to the left button where it'd be just like clicking on the object itself so wherever you press in the room uh, instance create x y obj underscore bullet so this is going to create this bullet object which we'll get to in just a bit here and um, wherever you click the mouse that's a direction and it's it's gonna go which we'll see uh, how that works in just a sec but for now we're just creating the bullet and in the draw we have another code block and this is just setting up the uh, basically the sprite for our player slash arm and uh, I mean nothing again you don't really need to configure this uh, it is just setting everything up to work uh, pretty smoothly um, between the sprites so that's what's going on there and finally, in the obj underscore bullet, all we have is one simple create event with a code block. And in here, we have a very simple line of code. Move underscore towards underscore point. Uh, mouse underscore x, uh, comma, mouse underscore y at a speed of 10. So if you want to change the speed as well of how fast it's moving, uh, you just go into here into this 10 and change it to whatever you want, like a value of 5 or 3, whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it so let's get a go uh, go ahead and hit okay and one thing you might notice is unlike mine here my, my player and arm uh, yours will be separate so what you want to do is oh really quickly one thing I want to mention too is the depth right here is set to negative one and the reason for that is um, the player right here will be separate and the arm because it's set to a depth of negative one uh, will automatically just go like above the player so that's why that's set there and uh, Basically, you want to, as I just showed, uh, you want to put the player on top of the, or the arm on top of the player, and um, to make it not delete the player, uh, just go down here to where it says delete underlining and uncheck that. All right, and finally, once you run this, everything will go uh, pretty. Ah, excuse me, my speech is just terrible today. I need to take a nap or something. No, I'm kidding. I never take naps, but nonetheless, uh, this is how it works in the end result. And as you can see, if we move the the um, the gun slash arm will just move to uh, wherever our mouse is at the time. If we left click, we got that nice little bullet effect going on and all that cool kind of stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is how to do this. And I may or may not put the code in the description. Um, I haven't really done that recently, and no one's really complained. I've kind of stopped doing that, I guess. But um, that, as I said, uh, you can go ahead and download this example and just copy and paste all the code if you really want to um, from this example. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot of code to to gather anyway so nonetheless feel free to comment and subscribe this is the end of the tutorial hopefully it works out for you guys hopefully you enjoyed it and whoever requested this tutorial because this is a request tutorial uh i do apologize for it taking a little while i have been very busy lately so yeah but um yeah i guess that's pretty much it so until next time guys this has been rex Rory, and uh i'll see you all next video